Hi folks, Christy from Shark Pixel here. I'm really happy to be able to finally tell everybody what I've been um, legally binded to not tell anyone for the last couple of months and it's been killing me inside. So on this, we're gonna talk about one of the new selection methods that we have, uh, which has just been announced at Adobe Max this week. So fresh off the press um, and yeah. Smells like a new baby, all that good stuff, but brand spanking new. All right, so we've got an image here. If we take it into our develop module, now before I do this, you do wanna make sure that you are working in a Lightroom Classic version 12. So if we go up to our Lightroom Classic menu and we choose about Lightroom Classic, you do wanna make sure that this number starts with a 12.0 or 12.1, whatever they're gonna release it at, okay? So that is important. All right, so if we come into our masking panel, there have been some astonishing releases um, and updates in this masking panel, and I cannot wait to share all of them with you. So if we go ahead and click on the masking panel, you're gonna see a couple new things. Okay, first of all, it looks a bit different, right? But up here, we have select subject, which we're familiar with. We have select sky, which we're familiar with, but now we have a select background which is basically going to take everything but the subject and it's gonna make that selection. So if we go ahead and click select background, you're going to have a selection of everything other than your subject. So that's very helpful because before what you'd have to do is select subject and then once that had rendered out and you had your selection, you'd have to go ahead and invert it and that was kind of a clunky set of steps, if you will. So happy about that. So if we needed to, um, we could go ahead and darken everything other than the subject in the middle of the shot. Or what we can do is we can come in and we can create a new mask. So we'll create a new mask. But again, so now that we have one mask um, activated and already created, it looks a bit different. So if I come over here, you can see so if we go ahead and select sky, which we're very familiar with, it's gonna go ahead and select the sky. But if you look closely, you'll see that we do have just a little bit of bleed into that subject. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and make sure that none of this selection is indeed on my subject. So in order to do that, we'll come in, we'll choose subtract from our sky, and we're going to choose uh, select, subtract the subject. So let's go ahead and do that. It subtracts the subject for us. And now we can go ahead and darken the sky. So we just get a, a touch of uh, darkness and like those clouds coming through in that background. So if we look at our before and our after, our before and our after, between using select background and select sky, we were able to make insanely intricate selections with a couple clicks of the mouse. I wish this was a longer video, but it's not. If you've learned something new about select background, please go ahead and subscribe. Please go ahead and leave a comment or ring the bell so that you know when I come out with new episodes. And I just want to reiterate, I am going to be coming out with multiple episodes this week all about the new um, items that are being released in Lightroom Classic. And if you would like to download a PDF on everything new that's coming out in Photoshop, and you should be tuning in to my class at Adobe Max this week as well. Um, but if you wanna download that, you can find that at this link, www.sharkpixel.com forward slash max 22, that is all lowercase. I wanna give you guys um, something to take home that tells you everything that's been announced at Adobe Max this week. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope you've learned something new. And I have a bunch of other episodes that I'm going to be doing on all the new features and all the new um, AI technology that's being released in uh, Lightroom Classic. So please watch all of them because they are incredible what you can do now all within Lightroom Classic. You don't have to go into Photoshop whatsoever. So please check all of them out because you will learn something new. I guarantee it in each video. All right, I'll see you on the next course.